Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Kevin Dorval checking in with you all. I hope you're enjoying your wonderful day. And I want to talk about what energy are you pulling? A lot of us don't even realize it, but the words that we speak, the attitude we wake up in the mornings with, the people we conversate with, the things you place our minds on, all of that plays a vital role on the energy that you pull in. Whether you are pulling in blessings to yourself or are you pulling in curses to yourself. Now, I'm 33 years old now. I've accomplished quite a bit in my lifetime and to be honest with you, I'm very excited about the future. I have so much more I want to do, so much more in store for me, my family, the empire that I'm building and things of that nature and I don't plan on giving up right now. I don't plan on stopping not one bit. I honestly believe that I can do whatever I put my mind to because at the end of the day, that is God's honest truth. It's because I'm speaking that. I believe I'm going to make my documentary happen. I believe I'm going to make a, a movie. I believe I'm going to write two, three more books on top of the book I have now, The Courage to Believe. Because I believe in the power of my words. I believe that I am the son of the Most High God. I know I am. And the moment anybody tries to tell me anything different that's contradicted in, in my belief system and the things that are working for me I have no business dealing with them and you shouldn't either and that's why I'm creating this video I've known people that have just given up on their dreams and goals as a snap of a finger due to the fact that something might have happened something conspired that really made them feel as if they can't move forward and to be honest with you, that's what the devil wants. He wants you to think that you can't move forward. That you cannot move beyond the current situation. And the devil's a liar. You know he's a liar. You know you deserve the best. Because you are the best. You have to believe in yourself. Not in what Mama Joe's saying. Or, 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 or Patrick on a block. No. You have the power to accomplish all things within you. What energy are you pulling? Are you pulling in your dreams? Are you pulling in your goals? Are you pulling in those things that you aspire to be? Are you reading books to bring you closer to that goal, closer to that dream? Because if you're not, then go ahead and do it. If there's <clears throat> something you want to learn how to do, whether it's to become a web designer, whether it's to become a published author, whether it's to become a, a public speaker, to become a president, CEO of a company, entrepreneur, you can do that, but you have to believe. It is not meant for you to go about life, to go on with your days on this earth, breathing in your body, in your temple, with the, the powerful spirit you have, to go on life mediocre, not believing that you can do these things, not believing that all things are possible through Christ that strengthens me. You have to believe that. You have to go about your life as if everything and all things that you want to accomplish will happen. Because at the end of the day, it will. Did you know that writing down your dreams increases your chances of success? by 1,000% writing out your plans has that much of an impact it increases your chances of accomplishing those things significantly I mean if I <clears throat> if I can put my mind on becoming a multi-millionaire no no let me let me scratch that I caught myself that's like you gotta catch yourself I'm placing my mind on becoming a multi-millionaire so whenever you catch yourself doubting who you are as a king or a queen of this earth then you need to go ahead and, and reverse those words and bring back the positive words place it into the atmosphere because when you whenever you you, you speak your your goals you're actually forcing the universe and all the stars to come together like a vortex to come in agreement with you. The universe comes in agreement with you once you speak those things out. And when you write them out, now you're talking about a whole nother level. Because you didn't just speak it, you wrote it, and now you're getting ready to execute that plan. Now I have a few friends of mine who I've known for, for many years. 
and some of them are very successful. Some of them are extremely successful. I'm very proud of them. And if you guys are this video, uh, God bless you. However, there are some other ones that are my, my family, my friends that for some reason, they continue to doubt themselves day in and day out. Why, I'm not sure. But I do know this, that whatever you put your mind to will and can be accomplished. And it, it, has to, it has to happen because you're speaking into the universe. The universe comes in agreement with you. The universe will do whatever you say. It will do whatever you say. You, if you believe, you are the son and daughter of the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, who place you as a ruler on this earth, then why not have the best in life? Why not have those that successful marriage? Why not have that successful business? Because you're claiming it and you're going to put a serious effort in it. Now, you just can't go on talking all these blessings and do nothing with it. That's just plain lazy. You have to follow up the proper reaction. The proper reaction to having a plan is to actually step by step, day by day, do something towards that goal and dream. It doesn't matter how small of a move you make or how big it is, as long as you're doing something every day towards it on a consistent basis. Consistency is one of the things that I've noticed amongst my peers that has held them back over the years. Being consistent. Now I know that some of you may not believe in uh, God, may not believe in Christ. Some of you are atheists. You know, you might even worship the devil. Who knows? But I'm gonna love you anyway, because I I know love is my religion. There's a song like that. I, I don't remember what the artist's name, but it's pretty popular. Love is my religion, and you put love out there in the universe. You put not blessings in the universe. You're giving. You're being generous. You know, you're 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 spending time volunteering. You know, you're giving, uh, you're speaking positivity on a consistent basis, because this world is meant to get you to think you're not a king or queen. It is meant for you to think that you are a pauper. This world, this system, like a matrix, wants you just to fall in line to do what everyone else is doing. But you're not like everyone else. You are someone special. You are someone going somewhere great. So say that to yourself. I am someone going somewhere great. Like Les Brown once said, life, you can't leave this earth with it. So you might as well get in the game and give it all you got. Live your life as if tomorrow depends on it. Go after your dreams and goals as if your life depends on it. Don't pause. Don't wait. Right now we're in 2013, uh, December 12th, actually my mom's birthday. Um, I love you, Mom. We miss you. And one of the things my mom did was that she spoke blessings over me on a constant basis, repeatedly. I mean, she always spoke the blessings over me, and now I understand why. Because she knew that if I did not accomplish my dreams and goals, that our family, she put that responsibility on my shoulders, that my family, it was going to take another generation for my family to get out of the curse that we were once in. She's seen my ambition as a young man. She's seen that out of all her kids, she has five kids, beautiful kids, my siblings, I'm the second born king, that <clears throat> my drive, my focus, my talents was going to be that component that was going to take us to a whole nother level to raise the standard. And I'm doing that. And my my nieces and nephews, I mean, these kids are like extremely brilliant. I have like 13, 14 nieces and nephews. I'm losing count. <laughs> but I always remember once Christmas come around, you know, because there's some newborns in the family. And, uh, but I have about 13, 14 of them, beautiful. But many of them, the oldest ones, who was the oldest one, I believe she's 12. Um, but 12 and then my other nephew who's about 10 years old off the chain in football and then the one after him nine years old he's off the chain in football and they're extremely smart and they know how to speak Spanish now we're Haitian and they know how to speak Spanish they're excelling in sports and academics so I know 
whatever bar that I raise, they're going to do double that. And that, as a parent, as a leader, as a mentor, that is what you want. You want the people that are under your wings, who are under you, under your tutelage, to actually raise that standard, raise the bar even higher. That's the whole point of it. Now, I want to be blessed to be a blessing. I believe in Proverbs 10, 22. Uh, that's my favorite scripture. I always say it every day. May the blessings of the Lord make you rich, add no sorrow. And each time you guys play this video, or you share this video, so please do share it, other people are going to hear it. Once they hear it, they hear that scripture, that blessing is coming from the internet, whether it be your mobile phone or your laptop, desktop, whatever the case may be, into the universe. I believe in speaking those blessings. I, I believe in my vibrational energy will, will reach out to someone and grab them, will bless them, to encourage them to move forward. Now, you know, I've, I wrote a book, I've done a stage play, working on a documentary, The Curse to Believe, um, right now. <clears throat> which you can find out more information on my website, thecouragetobelieve.com. But you've noticed my track record. You know, even with my King Kevin show that airs every Wednesday, I'm always speaking the blessings. I'm always, even when I hang up, hang up the phone, I don't say bye anymore. You know, even when my professional business meetings and phone calls, I, you know what I tell them? I say blessings. I end the phone call with blessings. My text messages, I start them, my text messages with blessings. I start my emails with and I end them, I start and end them with blessings. And that's what's about because I knew my life was going to change. This year, I've actually was able to meet Joel Osteen. I didn't shake his hand, but, you know, got to see him speak. You know, he's a powerful, powerful pastor. Um, he speaks uh, mountainous blessings over everyone that he speaks to. And I truly believe in the power of our words, the power of our God. Um, I was able to also meet some other in interesting individuals. I'm reaching out to Don King right now, who's located in Deerfield Beach, Florida's office, to be part of my documentary. Um, who knows if he's going to do it or not, but I'm, I'm reaching for that. I knew this year was going to be different because of the things I was speaking. Not necessarily the things I was doing, because I was always grinding. It's just a matter of time before your efforts is going to match your finances. Like I said before in the video, you are someone going somewhere great. And I know I am. That's why I read my dream book every day, sometimes twice a day. You know, my dream book, I'm not going to tell you what it is, it's a secret, but I speak about um, me having a beautiful wife and beautiful kids. Um, beautiful inside and out. Um, the, the businesses I'm going to be starting um, internationally. Uh, the different movies I'm going to produce, the different books. I also speak, Joel Osteen will be a co-author of one of my books. I know he will. So you guys, uh, you know, one of his fans will know him personally. Go ahead and send him this video and tell him I said it. Kevin Dorival. Yes, D-O-R-I-V-A-L. I also speak about uh, the scholarship I want to do under my mom's name, the Rosette Pierre Scholarship, which is going to be something that's going to help single mothers continue their education or even start their education. You know, my mother was a single mother and she found it very hard and difficult just to find support so that she can go to school, you know. I also speak about my church being there free, which we are right now, Demon Word. I also speak about um, hedge funds. I want the word hedge funds in my vocabulary. Those of you who know what hedge funds are, you know that's major money. You talking about millions and billions there. I want that those words in my vocabulary. I talk about the different inventions that I, I want to have and come out with. You know, the different pets I want to own. The, the size home that I want. 35,000 square foot home. I speak those blessings because I know my God is a redeemer. As a matter of fact, you can see from my shirt here, it says three nails, one cross, and forgiven. You know? And so, I believe that, you know, that I am forgiven. That you know, I shall have everything that the Lord has for me. The, the, the mistakes I made financially, I know it's going to come back in a double, triple harvest, you know. And I just want to make sure I made this video so you guys can understand where I'm coming from and knowing that the blessings of the Lord is upon you. Speak those blessings. Don't worry about what it looks like. You're not put on earth to focus on what it looks like. It's more to life than what it, what it seems. There are spiritual powers um, that you cannot see, but you can sense them. You can sense someone's spirit when you are speaking with them, which is it's the spirit of love 
or a spirit of hate or envy. It's a spirit of generosity, and you can sense that. And some, you know, some people are very conniving, so you, you never really know their true intention until you would tell by their actions. So just understand that no matter what it looks like, continue speaking those blessings over yourself. You could be going through some horrible financial situation. You could have been attacked viciously. You know, you could have, you know, just, you know, failed horribly in your, your school grades. Don't worry about that. Focus on speaking your future the way you see it. Because if you can see it, you can believe it, therefore you can execute the plan. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Kevin Dorval. I just want to leave you guys with that positive message. Um, don't wait till next year, 2014, January 1st, to start making changes in your life. Make those changes now. Why not? Why wait? You can do it. I believe you can do it. I know you're going to do it. I believe that all things are possible through Christ that strengthens me. The same Christ that strengthens me strengthens you. If I am a king, that you are royalty as well. Blessings.